Okay, on a typical Coldplay session, I sit here, um, kind of at the helm. I see my role as kind of the conduit for all the noise that I'm, that you know is coming up, coming my way. So I'm the interface between the tape recorder and the band, um, and I try and make that as effortless as possible for the band, so they don't really realise that I'm there, and they can just do their thing and and make a noise. I got involved with Coldplay on the, their second album, uh, Rush of Blood to the Head. I basically, at the time I was working at a studio called Mayfair Studios in North London, and um, I was freelancing, I just left as an in-house engineer and I was freelancing for them, and um, Coldplay were coming in to do a record. Yeah, it was great, Chris walked in, the very first day, sat down on the piano and started playing a song called Politic. And um, from that moment, I was just hooked. It was totally entranced. About five years ago, I got a call from Chris saying that he was thinking, of, well, the boys were thinking about setting up a studio, their own studio space in North London, and would I like to be involved? And uh, I've been here ever since. The Matrix fits into the Coldplay setup as a kind of hub for everything to come into before it hits the speakers. Um, I didn't really need any mic amps because we have a whole load of boutique and valve and nice mic amps back here that we've accumulated over the last few years. Um, so there was no point in getting a console that that had mic amps. We just needed some some faders and um, you know monitor controllers and maybe some inserts so I can have some compressors and EQs across the mix. Um, so basically everything, we've got all the mic amps, they go straight into Pro Tools, Pro Tools comes up the desk and then from there it goes to the speakers. Um, so it's a it's a glorified monitor controller really but with the, the the added ability of being able to colour the mix by putting my my choice bits of gear across it. Okay, my history with SSL is um, is a long one actually. I started in the studio when I was fifteen, and there were two SSL rooms in the studio that I started at um, G series desks, which was a, a wonderful thing to kind of learn on. I don't think many people would have had the opportunity to have learnt on such a, such a great desk. I mean, they're legend, legendary now. So that's kind of the first console that I, I learnt. And then, obviously, through the years, I kind of learnt different consoles. But I do find myself coming back to SSL equipment, um, which is why we've got this, this baby in the studio here. That's the Matrix. Um, okay, the decision to get the Matrix in here came came about through a bit of trial and error. We've got two studios, and the other studio was built first before this room. And in the other studio, we had a, a another console that I was I experimented with many different ways of working um, to try and find the the most fluid way of working with the band. Um, they work very quickly. And so having a big full-on console was never going to work because obviously as soon as you put one song to bed to load another song up, um, if you've got a mix going on the console, you need to kind of play around with the levels and the faders and EQ and stuff in order to get a recall up and get back to where you left the song. So I was looking for like a, a small footprint console that I could sum 16 outputs through and have everything, all my balances, internally in Pro Tools, but I'd know that the audio part of the console was high fidelity enough so that I'd know what I was listening to, that nothing was being coloured too much. Um, and I found out about the Matrix, and then also found out about the ability to use the faders as a um, DAW controller, which basically means that I can do all my faders, if I'm mixing, I can do all my vocal levels with the faders 
on this and it writes the automation into Pro Tools, which is great. In a couple of sentences, I'd say the matrix delivers a great, clear, transient um, signal path that doesn't really color, that isn't colored much, but is just punchy and, and full with the added bonus of uh, being able to do all your fader moves and rides and automation actually on a, on a, on a work surface as opposed to just using a mouse. The Matrix has changed the process in the studio just by making things more fluid and, and quick. I've mentioned before that the band are quite fast workers um, and technically any, any hiccup or time wasted is a bit of a nightmare because they're so eager to, to record. There isn't a great deal of time to you know, set stuff up. So any time that I can save through, um, through having something as easy to use as the Matrix is, is, only, is, is, is a great thing.